Welcome back to the channel and today we have a literally jaw dropping tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do facial shape keys in Blender and bad puns aside, this is actually a really cool thing. I'm going to go step by step. I'm even going to be providing this model for free. And the really cool thing about shape keys, especially if you're new to this, I'll explain it is that it gives you the ability to use these simple little blend shapes. You can blend them together in all sorts of fun ways. They're easy to do and I'll show you how to do them. And it just is something that you could incorporate into your rig eventually. And it just gives you a lot of um, power with animation and stuff. So that's all gonna be in this fun packed tutorial. And if you guys ever wanted to help out the channel a little bit, one of the great things you can do is check out some of my other stuff on Pixo Creative. I do mainly drawing tutorials at the moment. But um, it's in the description below as well. And if you guys kind of check that out, it would really help me out. And I uh, hope you guys are able to enjoy this tutorial today. Let's jump into it and have some fun. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to download the free model in the description below. It's one of my own characters that I've just kind of cut in half and just gotten the top part of the body. And this is gonna be for testing the shape key. So go ahead in the description below on my Gumroad. You can get it for zero dollars, download it, and then jump into the blend file. And then we're gonna do the shape keys. So once you open it up, you'll have this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually select the mesh of the character. And we're gonna do some basic shape key things here. So if you actually go to your object data properties, you're gonna see we have something here called shape keys. Now, if you don't know anything about shape keys, I'll quickly explain some basics. You're gonna go ahead and in object mode, you're gonna press plus. And when the first time you press plus on the shape keys, it's gonna add in what's called the basis. And that is kind of like just your original unedited base mesh, right? And anything you add from here on, so you add another shape key, that is what it's gonna be blending. So in the default state with none of these shape keys um, being used or having any values, it's just gonna be at the resting basis, okay? So if that doesn't make any sense to you, just keep watching and you'll understand. So let's take the first shape key here, key one, and uh, let's double click on it. Let's do something. Let's call this um, mouth open, okay? And let's now with that mouth open selected, tab into edit mode. And it's inside of edit mode where we actually do the editing for these different groups. And I'm just gonna quickly show you guys an example. Don't follow along yet, I'm just gonna explain it. If I were to grab this lip here, like so, and just bring it down, right? If you can see here now, uh, this is the edit that we have now on mouth open. If I now go to the bases, you can see all of a sudden that disappears because the bases is a whole different thing. You could actually go into the bases and change something as well, but you don't really want to, just keep that as it is. So let's just go back to the mouth open. Uh, like I said, don't follow along with that. I was just giving an example. So make sure you have the mouth open selected. You're inside of edit mode and you can go ahead and enable your proportional editing and make sure that connected only is enabled. That's kind of important. What we're gonna do is like the shape key here as we've named it, we are gonna open a mouth. So we're gonna go into our right orthographic view. And opening the mouth is the more tricky thing to do and that's why I'm starting with it. But once we have that done, the rest is easy. So there are a few things you can consider. If we go ahead and go to the X-ray, you can actually see that there are um, teeth in here. So we don't just wanna open the lips, we actually wanna have the whole jaw come down. But how do you do that along with these teeth and everything? And I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how we can achieve that. So let's start by coming to our right orthographic view. We have the X-ray toggled on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our face select option and we're gonna make sure nothing is active and we're gonna press C that's gonna be our selection tool. We're gonna to grow it by rolling our middle mouse button. And then we're gonna start here at the bottom of the lip, being very careful not to select the top lip. And we're just gonna go and select this bottom part of the jaw and some of these teeth here as well. You can see we don't want um, the top teeth selected, just the bottom teeth like that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and get our um, 3D cursor and we're gonna come up here to where the jaw would pivot, right? Just right under the ear. And we're gonna click over here. And let's go back to our move tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to our transform pivot. And let's change that to 3D cursor. And now this is gonna be our pivoting point. So if you now go R to rotate, 
and you can you can see we have the influence because we have the the proportional editing enabled and only the connected bits are there so if you go r to rotate you can see this is what's happening. Now, what you want to make sure you do as well is you want to roll the middle mouse button to control the fall off. So let's roll it and let's get about this much jaw coming down. And if you now toggle out of the X-ray, you can kind of see this a little bit better. And using that proportional editing method has really made things a lot simpler. Um, if you wanted to, um, you could probably bring the tongue down, but I would do that as a separate shape key anyway. So what you want to do now that you have that done, because we selected everything from the side, both sides were done evenly. And we also have X-ray enabled here. But if you wanted to come here and make a change in the front view, it's important that this X-ray, uh, or the not the X-ray, but the symmetry is enabled for the X. If I turn off the X symmetry now, you can see it's only happening on one side. So make sure with the mouth open, we're going to make sure the X is enabled. So we will now change things here you, we can actually have it happen on both sides. So let's now go back and change this to median point because we're no longer rotating everything around the jaw. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this in just a little bit in the corner of the mouth. So what we want here as well is we want to displace the cheeks just back a little bit like this. So now if we actually tab into object mode and we have that mouth open selected, it has a value of zero. If we now drag this through, you can see we're going to have that mouth open action happening here. How cool is that? So now we're just going to build on top of this. So let's press this little X here. All that's going to do is clear the shape keys. It's not deleting anything. So you can see what happened there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another shape key. And let's call this, uh, you can call it anything. You can call it corner open or you can just call it smile i pretend i usually prefer to call it smile and we need to actually make sure that we um let it, we, we label it as left or right as well that's going to be important especially if you're going to get into rigging it later so let's do the left first so i'm going to put underscore l that's just to be organized we're going to tab into edit mode now we have a fresh model here just like we have the bases and what we're going to do is we're going to take the left corner here, which might be from our perspective, the right side, but from the character's perspective, it's left. And we're going to take this um, corner of the mouth and with our proportional editing, we're going to go G and we're going to, first of all, make sure to turn off the symmetry because we only want it to happen on one side. And we're going to be careful to drag it up like so. And then we're just going to rotate it slightly. And that might look okay from the front, but if we were to see that from the side, it's not going to make sense unless we grab it and we also move it back a little bit and also displace some of these cheeks here a little bit. And then that is going to look a bit more natural. So now if you want to see what this looks like, we're just going to quickly tab back into object mode. Now it's just at the best basis. And if we now get that smile underscore L and we drag it, we can see we have the smile. And from the side, we really want to see that displacement. You can at any time select it and come in here and edit it. That's the nice thing about um, doing it like this. It's um, non-destructive. So let's displace that a bit. Go back into object mode and let's see. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now here's the thing. Say for example, you wanted to create another shape key and call it smile underscore R. You could do that and go do that again, but there's a cool feature here that's going to allow us to mirror things over. As long as the geometry of your character is symmetrical, which it is in this case, things can be mirrored over. So let's start by, um, I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's just go and make sure that the thing we want to mirror, in this case, smile underscore L, is at a full value of one. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come to this little arrow and go to the drop down, and we're going to go new shape from mix okay and what we're going to do now is while we have that key free here that's generated active we're going to come to the drop down again and we're going to go mirror shape key and now if we get that key free and we drag it we can see it's happening on the other side we can now double click on this and call it smile underscore r because that's the right side and now we can um, control both of them. How cool is that? 
So what we can also do on top of that, you can actually use multiple, like I said, you can use multiple ones. So let's go to mouth open. Let's give that a value of about 0.4. And let's go and make her smile fully on the left. And let's just go a little bit on the right. And you guys are now kind of starting to see how powerful shape keys are. So when you do eventually get to the rigging stage, what you would traditionally do is you would go and give these um, things over here drivers and then you can drive the shape keys and you can do it in a lot of ways. You can use objects in your 3D scene and by moving them on a different axis, it can control those and that way you can incorporate this into your rig. Um, that's going to be a tutorial for another day, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this and just for a bit of fun, uh, let's just tab into let's just actually create a new shape key and let's just call it tongue and let's just quickly do something with that tongue as well so let's um, go into wireframe or into x-ray actually let's toggle on the x-ray there we go and uh, let's see if we can select that tongue in the inside okay there we have it and what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate it down and bring it like so and now if we tab back out, toggle off the x-ray, let's see if we can actually um, control that tongue as well. And there you can see the tongue, we can make that lower in the inside a little bit as well. So by no means is this everything there is to know about um, doing this with the mouth. In real life, you would spend a lot more time getting the displacement here accurate and uh, blending before between the different things with drivers and all that sort of thing. But for the most part, I think this is a satisfactory introduction for beginners when it comes to facial shape keys. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial and I will upload um, this finished version to Patreon so you guys can kind of mess around with it and try it out. And if you want to start from scratch, you can download the free model, like I said in the beginning, and follow along as well. And if you guys want to check out my other channel, like I mentioned in the beginning, It'll really help me out and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.